Hey, Hero Nation, what's going on? This is Becker, and welcome back to the Market Hero blog, uh, where we, we tell you cool stuff and how to improve your email marketing. All right, but today we're actually beginning into something that's extremely cool, and this is something that can increase your business 20 to 30% uh, literally overnight without you doing anything different, and that's hitting the inbox, not the promotion tab, not the spam tab, every single time with your email. Now, the cool thing is at Market Hero, our delivery is like out of control good. So like I can inbox even using words like free and money and refund guarantee in the subject lines of the emails, which is nuts. Okay, that's something I've never been able to do anywhere else, and that's something you can do too. But what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be sitting down with my head of email, um, who is actually the genius behind our delivery and everything like that. And what we're gonna focus on is what you need to know to make sure that you're hitting the inbox every single time. These are quick little tips that you can apply in about 30 minutes that will increase your delivery rate, all right? You get a 10% higher delivery rate, you'd make 10% more money, okay? That's huge for like 30 seconds of work. And we're gonna be focusing also on like headlines to get higher click-through rates. And what we're seeing that allows us to hit the inbox and also get those high open rates from good headlines that actually convert, okay? So we're gonna hop in right now and dive straight into that. Okay guys, so something really funny we did to really demonstrate Market Heroes inboxing and just like how to make sure you inbox like a champ. Uh, our head of email actually just sent these. And so you can see right here, we actually sent out an email right here. And if you know anything about email, you know having a headline like this um, and then having this content in here, uh, you can see right here we have Viagra, sex, porn, PayPal, wire, online bank, just all this stuff right here that will always get your, your email sent to spam. And you can see we're still inboxing that with Market Hero. So that's just kind of a testament to uh, how good the delivery is is over here. You can just see that the email right here that went in. Um, I know there's some weird topics right there, but that's all the stuff that gets you knocked out and we're still hitting the inbox with that. Um, so just, just first off right here, step one, inboxing, I suggest you try a free trial of Market Hero. That being said, I wanna go over a bunch of things that you can do when you're about to email that will drastically, drastically, drastically improve your inboxing. And this is really how you troubleshoot out of the promo tab, how you troubleshoot out of the spam tab. So the first thing I wanna show you kind of how to do is you wanna go on a Google Google and you wanna type in SPF record set up tutorial. Now I'm not gonna show you how to do this right here. There's, uh, there's actually a video of me showing you how to do this. I'll put it below this video just in the link. It's just a really ugly basic video. But you can find out how to pretty much do this this anywhere. And if you don't know what this is, you need to, you need to figure this out like right now, okay? Because an SPF record right here is going, if you don't have this, it doesn't matter if you're using any other autoresponder. And this tutorial isn't so much even if you're using Market Hero. I mean, if you're using Market Hero, you'll still inbox, but you still need to do this with Market Hero. But I want this tutorial to be helpful to you if you're sending emails in general, because that's the goal of these videos that provide just as much value. So maybe you'll check out the company in the future. Um, so you, you, what you want to go is you want to go do this, because if you don't do this, you're, you're going to miss the inbox. You're going to hit the promo tab and you're going to hit the spam box a lot. And what this does is it basically is a digital signature. So when you send out an email from your from email, so if I send you an email and it's from alex at markethero.io, what's going to happen is when you shoot out, the inbox that you send to is gonna check back with the domain you're sending from to make sure this is a validated domain. Um, and so that's really how you can tell what a fake email is from, just basically a person using a fake domain that they have no authority over. So I could go anywhere from be like, you know, send from alex at google.com and SPS will shoot back to Google and Google will say, we don't know this person. So that's essentially what it does. And what you also wanna look into if you really wanna improve your, with Market Hero, that's pretty much where you have to stop. But if you wanna look into improving it even more, you wanna also set up your DKIM DKIM record as well. And this is going to further increase your inboxing. If you're sending out a lot of emails right now and you're hitting the promo tab or the spam inbox a lot, these two things right here are gonna help you dramatically. Okay, dr 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 dramatically. It's like the, the back in the beat DJ version of dramatically right there. So next thing I wanna get into is making sure your domain itself is not blacklisted. For example, we had a person hop on about a week ago and they had a big list and they were sending out emails, but every single email went to the spam inbox. And as you can see right here, you know, delivery, like I just showed you in that, that picture, is not an issue, okay, once you have your SPF set up. But what you're gonna notice a lot of times, and what you wanna check, especially if you're seeing this problem and you're consistently hitting the spam inbox, it might be the domain you're sending to and the, the account or email you're sending from. For example, one of my just email addresses a long time ago at a website I used to own just would always hit the spam inbox and it just got blacklisted in Google's Gmail for some reason. The way around this was simply changing the email. So I, instead of making it like alex at markethero.com, uh, it would be like bob at markethero.com or alexander at markethero.com or io. That's our website. So that's another thing you really want to look at right there. And that's, that's kind of step two if you're still hitting the promo tab and stuff like that. And then what I wanna show you to do uh, inside of here is really how to go out there 
uh, and troubleshoot your emails. So what I like to do, and I'm gonna kind of walk you through my entire process is, you know, first off, you wanna make sure that you have the SPF set up. And so with this email right here, I usually send from Chuck's email at Market Hero. So if you see anything from Chuck, that's why I send for him because the, the delivery is just so good from this email right here uh, when you're sending from Market Hero. So then what we are gonna do right here is I'm just gonna select who I'm gonna mail to. Let's just say I'm saying the source wave right now. And actually I'll change this to source wave. Okay, cool. Now what I do, and I don't so much do this anymore at Market Hero because um, it hits the inbox regardless of what I do. I can put free money in the title and it still hits the inbox. But what I wanna do is, let me just go pick a, an email right here that has um, maybe some money. Let me just type in money right here. Let's find one that has like money in the key, the headline. It's there. All right, so here we go right here. So here's an email, basic one right here to get sent out. And I wanna show you how to really troubleshoot these emails if you hit the promo tab or the spam inbox. So there's a series of tests that I do when I'm sending out a test email or I'm sending to myself. So if I send out a test email or I send a test email out to myself and I see it hit the promo tab or the inbox, the largest culprit is probably going to be your subject. So the first thing I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna put in, um, I'm gonna change the, the subject line to basic subject line, okay? So I'm just gonna make it so that there's zero reason why the title would be a reason for us not to hit the inbox, okay? And so what's gonna happen, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit that and I'm gonna send that to myself again, okay? And when that goes and hits uh, the promo tab again, I know, okay, cool, it's not the headline, it's something in the content of the email. There's just sometimes where a section of your email is going to cause that. So the next culprit that's gonna happen right here is probably gonna be your images, okay? So again, with Market Hero, if you're sending stuff in the image area, uh, if you're sending images, you're gonna inbox anyways, but if you're using another iResponder, you're probably gonna run into this, where if you send an image, a lot of times it's gonna hit the promo tab. It's almost the difference between hitting the inbox and the promo tab a lot of time. So all you need to do is just simply remove the image, okay? Just remove the image, send out the email, see if that's the reason it didn't hit, okay? And if you're still hitting the promo tab, it has to be something in your text, okay? And there's a lot of ways you can get around this, okay? So words like, you know, free, money, uh, income, all the stuff, all the stuff to chuck right in there. What I like to do, or what I used to do when I was at another odd responder, and I'm not, I'm not going to pick fun at other odd responders. I, I do that enough. But what I would do is I'd find sub subs for these words, basically words that mean the same thing, and people read them the same way, but they don't trigger the same spam response. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll first actually go through and I'll look at certain sections that might trigger it off. So I'm looking at this one right here. If any of them have dollars on your online business right here. So what I would do is I delete this section and then send out the email again, okay? And if it's still in the promo tab, it's not that section. I just gradually remove sections uh, until there's nothing left in the email, okay? And this is a pain. Usually you're gonna hit the inbox by this time, but if you're not right there, when you get to the section that is knocking you out of the inbox, okay? Uh, and if and just by the way, if you if you have a normal email and it goes out and hits the promo tab, there's something wrong with your domain you're sending from or the autoresponder you're sending from. It's more unlikely your domain. There's no autoresponder out there that can't hit the inbox with a proper email. Um, so once you realize which part of it is knocking you out of the inbox, just kind of put a quick note down. Like put the put the subject or the, the paragraph somewhere in a text file so you can kind of see stuff that causes the promo tab from your autoresponder. So what I do a lot of times when I'm writing my emails just to avoid this the first time around is when I say, when I wanna say free in the email, I'll say no cost, okay? When I wanna talk about money, I'll say bucks or buckaroos, okay? I'll, I'll use slang for money instead of using the word dollars or money or stuff like that, okay? When I say income, I'll talk about, you know, um, you know, I'll, I, something generated. Income actually works pretty well. Um, like a lot of people will say money generated and stuff like that. Um, or you know how much money you make a year, I'm gonna say it will increase your income. Um, it will increase stuff like that. So one thing you wanna do when you're thinking about writing out emails and stuff like that, um, what, you, what I could do, like if you want, I'm just saying if you like want to type in like porn or something, I'm not saying you're gonna type in porn, I just wanna show you how you wanna think about it. So you put in maybe, you know, adult <laughs> videos, okay, or something like that. You wanna change the words around to whatever you're doing. So that was a weird example, Alex, way to offend everybody, but like payday loans, okay? Like if you put in like payday loans into whatever you're typing out out there, you could put in something instead of like, get the bucks on the same day. Okay, and that's not like proper English like that, but you can see how like I go in and kind of describe with this type of loan. Okay, you can see that's, that's 
really a weird way of saying payday loans, but I want you to take away that there's ways you can change the text to get out of the promo tab and still get your message across in your email. So, you know, these are just some tips right here, and this is exactly the process I go to to make sure I hit the inbox every single time. Because when you hit the inbox, if you get a 20%, 30% higher inboxing rate, uh, you make more money. You make 30% more money. It's one of the easiest things you can do to increase the income your business makes. That being said, um, if you want to get this, the, like I showed you before, you know, where we're inboxing with the titles free money and putting images and all sorts of stuff in our emails, you know, Market Hero does that if you have your SPF set up correctly. But, you know, if you're on other iResponders, this is a process you should probably be going through. And you need to set up your SPF no matter where where you're at, okay? A lot of autoresponders don't make people do that when they come inside. Um, we do. And the reason for that is because, you know, a lot of iresponders want people to get in with the least resistance as possible. But there's a downside to that. It kills their delivery. It makes their IPs just awful. So uh, that's what exactly what I do. And that's what we require at Market Hero so that we keep our IPs really clean and delivering good. So this is just a quick little checklist. If you're interested in getting this type of delivery, just try the free trial below this video. Uh, and if not, stay where you're at and use these tips to go and increase your delivery. So this has been Becker, and I will see you around the general vicinity of Market Hero. Okay, take it easy.